So guys, it is my absolute pleasure to introduce to you the all-new BMW Vision Neue Class X. This is a concept that basically previews the next generation of BMW SUVs, starting with the iX3 that is due next year. For now, this is still a concept design, but I've been personally told by the head of BMW i Design himself, Kai Langer, that if he were to show his mother the production version next to this concept, she would not be able to tell the two apart. Basically, we are led to believe that the actual 2025 iX3 will actually look very close to what you see here. Still, I'll believe it when I see it. A key concept of the design is to make something that is entirely new, yet familiar and recognizable as a BMW. And with the classic BMW grille down the center, it cannot possibly be mistaken for anything else really. There are two very important points here. Number one, the narrow and tall grille is very different to the ultra-wide version on the Neue Klasse sedan concept from last year. This isn't a change of direction, but a clear distinction between BMW's SUV and sedan models. Its future SUVs, starting with the iX3 next year, will wear this new thin grille, while sedan models, starting with the next generation 3 series, which the Neue Klasse sedan will eventually evolve into, will have full width kidney grilles. Also, from now on, the grilles will take on the form of a three-dimensional sculpture made of LEDs. Another step forward from the current iconic glow-illuminated grille design. The centerpiece is taken directly from classic BMW models like the 2002 and the E30 of yore. And then you've got the big headlights that merges into the grille, again similar to the black frames of the older models. I think looks absolutely superb. Overall, the front is meant to look handsome but not overly aggressive. Again, a key design pillar is for it to look and feel like a traditional BMW, not an overly futuristic, over-designed concept that will never reach production. One element that I don't think we'll see in the production version, however, is the engraved BMW emblems. It's here to supposedly have less parts on the car, but surely this cannot make mass production. Down the side, it has the usual two-box SUV shape because they didn't want to make a car that is too rounded, too weird, like I guess you know who. There's plenty of interesting details here. The overall body sculpture has an organic flair to it, especially over the pronounced wheel arches. In person, it almost has a bit of a sexy Italian vibe to it. Well, almost. The door handles on the concept are small arrow wingtips that stick out from the window line, but the production version will likely have more conventional pop-out handles that sit flush with the bodywork, maintaining the uninterrupted monolithic design. They've also made it a point to lower down the belt line to maximize the glass house so you get as much glass as possible to look into the cabin and if you're inside, to look out as well. The larger glass house, lower bedline concept is even more apparent on a sedan. In fact, on the Neue Klasse sedan concept, the lower bedline was made to match the exact height of the E30 3 Series, while the black line on the windows represent where the line would be on a normal modern design. Also completely redesigned is the signature BMW Hofmeister kink. Here, it's further accented by a reflective paint within the quarter windows, while the actual window line is now angled to lead directly into the rear spoiler. At the back, the taillights are wide but not quite full width, again to avoid looking a bit too generic. You'll notice that the light clusters themselves no longer have an L shape like in classic BMW designs, instead relying on LED light graphics to achieve the iconic, familiar look. Inside, you'll notice the cabin does not have your traditional aircon vents, something that has always been a core design element with car interiors. Instead, you've got Tesla-style ducts lines across the dashboard. 
Now, thankfully, unlike a Tesla, you do get a full digital instrument cluster. But beyond that, they've also gone the extra mile by giving a full panoramic HUD up there. This BMW Panoramic Vision is fully customized via the large touchscreen unit where you can choose exactly what and where you want specific info to be displayed. Better yet, the display is updated in real time as soon as you make changes. Having the entire instrument cluster set above the steering wheel also allows BMW to introduce a new wheel design, now with vertical spokes. We'll have to wait and see if this will make production. The center touchscreen itself is now no longer angled towards the driver like in a typical BMW fashion. However, it is still driver focused with most major controls aligned closer to the driver within easy reach. And speaking of controls within reach, they've also included stocks on this concept car. That's something that you don't see on many show cars. I think they're making a bit of a statement over here. So yes, signal stocks will stay in BMWs for the foreseeable future instead of using buttons on a steering wheel like in Teslas. Whether BMW drivers will actually use them or not though is a different story altogether of course. All new is the personal sound experience where the driver can actively change the sound the car makes as it's driven. This is done via the so-called hypersonic wheel. That is certainly a silly name, but the feature is pretty cool. And at the back, this isn't so much of a rear bench. This is a super comfortable home sofa. The bench is extremely comfortable to sit on, even more so than the fantastic rear seats we've already seen on the latest BMW i7 and XM. But the bigger departure here is the mix of bright colors and new materials used inside. The use of soft fabric made of recycled materials actually feels good to the touch, and it even allows for a more elaborate integration of ambient lighting on the dashboard. Overall, the warm colors and textile finishes give a bit of a retro, old French car look and feel to the interior, in a good way of course. In terms of technology, the Neuer Klasse X SUV features the new 6th generation BMW eDrive tech. It will use BMW's first 800 volt electrical architecture, improving charging speed by 30%. BMW claims it can get 300 kilometers of range in just 10 minutes of charging. Together with new higher density round battery cells, 20% less aero drag, and better overall efficiency, the car will have 30% more range compared to current models. So there you go guys, the BMW Vision Neuer Klasse X. What do you think of this car's looks, technology, and interior? Do let me know in the comments section below. For now, thank you for watching, and stay safe everyone.